Hi friends, welcome to free CCNA Packetizer Labs for Beginners. In this video, we are going to implement DHCP server in a single network. Before coming to this lab, friends, if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. And don't forget to enable that bell icon so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Now back to the lab activity. Now we are in our Cisco uh, packet tracer and here we can see uh, this is the latest version of uh, Cisco packet tracer. Uh, we have version uh, 8. First of all, we will uh, design the topology for this uh, DHCP server in a single network. We will add the required devices network devices here we can see routers we will choose for double three one router one switch 2960 series also we will add ng devices two pcs pc0 and pc1 also we will add a server Let me rename these devices physically. This is R1, this is S1, and here we have PC0, PC1, that's perfect. And this is a DHCP server. DHCP server. We will connect all these devices. Coming to connection, so we will choose copper straight through from R1 gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 to this s1 gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 also we will connect these uh, entity devices fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to this uh, dhcp server fa 0 slash 2 to this pc 0 fa 0 slash 3 to this pc 1 First of all, we will configure a DHCP server. Uh, we will assign IP address and then we will enable DHCP service in this server. And we are not going to assign IP address for these PCs, PC0 and PC1 manually. That means these PCs will get IP address from this DHCP server. Okay, we will go to DHCP server and uh, here we can see desktop, IP configuration, and we will set IP address for this DHCP server 192.168.1.2 Some to mask and default gateway we will give 192.168.1.1 Now we will enable DHCP as service in this DHCP server So close this IP configuration window then go to services and here we can see DHCP and this DHCP service is off we will put it on let me maximize this and here we can see a default pool name that is a server pool we will edit this default server pool or even we can create a separate pool name here anyways here I'm going to uh, edit to this server pool click on that and here we can see default gateway we will assign 192.168.1.1 okay and the dns server there is no dns server so we will leave as it is then start ip address we will give 192.168.1.100 onwards okay let me give here 100 this is the start ip address and here we can see to mask okay it's correct maximum number of users anyways we are not going to change if needed we can uh, change this value also consider i need to give only a 100 number of uh, uh, users i want to assign ip address for only for 100 users then we can give 100 here that means from 100 uh, till uh, 199 Okay, TFTP server, WLC, that is wireless LAN controller address. Okay, we will leave as it is, then save it. 
so here we can see the details default gateway then start ip address submit to mask maximum number of users here our dhcp pool is ready we will close this then go to these uh, pcs let me go to pc0 desktop ip configuration and we will click on dhcp get the ip address automatically from the dhcp server requesting ip address and we can see uh, this pc received ip address from the dhcp server 192.168.1.100 submit to mask and default gateway perfect next we will go to this pc1 desktop ip configuration and click dhcp so it's requesting ip address and it's successful we can see the next address assigned to this uh, pc1 192.168.1.101 and also we can see other information now just we will uh, assign ip address to this uh, interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 in this router r1 uh, because uh, this is the default gateway for all these devices also we will activate this interface go to cli no enable conf t just i will set the host name as r1 okay host name next we will go to interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 and set the ip address 192.168.1.1 with the submit mask then activate this interface now shut down and copy run space start even we can assign ip address uh, dynamically uh, to the router interface okay let me add one more router here for double three one series okay we'll add here and we'll connect to this uh, switch s1 let me rename r2 and we will connect using copper straight through gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 to this uh, switch gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 see now we will assign ip address to this interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 in this router r2 uh, using this uh, dhcp server okay we will see how to do that coming to this router r2 enable conf t and here let me set the host name as r2 then we will go to interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 let me activate it now shut down perfect now we will set the ip address we are not going to assign ip address manually so let me put a question mark here and we can see dhcp option ip address negotiated via dhcp so here we are going to give dhcp then presenter here we will wait sometimes or even we can give a fast forward option here click on this fast forward and here we can see we get this message after some times interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 assigned dhcp address 192.168.1.102 with the mask 255.255.255.0 that means uh, this router interface received ip address from this uh, dhcp server so we can verify using show command give end show ip interface brief and here we can see the details 
interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we can see the ip address assigned to this uh, interface 192.168.1.102 and we can see the method here we used dhcp now we will test the connectivity here we will go to pc0 command prompt ping to the default gateway 192.168.1.1 and we get the replies next we will ping to the next pc i mean uh, pc1 so here pc1 address is 101 and we get the replies even we can ping to the router r2 it's uh, 102 and we get the replies here even we can assign ip address uh, to this uh, switch virtual interface using this dscp server but in real time uh, we will not assign ip address uh, using dscp server to the uh, you know intermediary devices like uh, switches or uh, routers but some cases uh, we will assign a dscp option to the interface in the router uh, the interface which is connecting to the internet and obviously it uh, depends on the internet service provider okay perfect so in this video uh, we uh, created a dscp server and uh, assigned ip address uh, automatically to these uh, pcs pc0 pc1 and also uh, to the router interface now friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this uh, lab activities please comment below or even you can contact our team or even if you have any suggestion on any basic uh, videos uh, please contact us or please comment below and also we expect a great support from our viewers so subscribe share and like our channel we will meet again with the next video thank you